Yoruba groups warned against move to silence Akintoye, Igboho, and Kanu. Hello, my wonderful people. In case you're not aware, yes, in case you're not aware, the same name, unknown gunmen, stormed the home of an 87 years old man called Pa or Professor Akintoye in Ekiti. And thank God he was in home and anyone was in home as well. They came in and they started shooting sporadically into the compound, not minding if his wife, children or grandchildren could possibly be there. They, this government, I can tell you, is a bloodthirsty one. And what they are doing right now is to ensure that every voice that speaks against their inability to coordinate the country properly is silenced through intimidation, um, shutting away in cells, um, prison, and whatever. So what they've done to Pa Akindoye's home is to ensure that he retreats and become silent and be like, you know what, let me not go and die for another man's say, wahala. You get that kind of thing. But guess what? Yorubas are standing up and saying, we don't want that. We must change. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Yoruba groups once again move to silence Akintoye, Igboho, Kano. The coalition of Yoruba self-determination group yesterday warned President Muhammadu Buhari that silencing the leaders of Elena Omodua, Professor Banji Akintoye, the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazil Nandi Kano, the Yoruba nation agitator, Sunday Igboho, and others will not put an end to the separationist agenda across the country. Do the right thing. Things will fall in place. The coalition were reacting to the attack on Professor Akintoye's house, home, and the arrest of Igboho. This has contained in a statement made available to journalists by Secretary General Steve Abiyoye in Ibadan, the Oyo State, the capital. The coalition of Yoruba self-determination group received the news of the attack on the home of the leader of Elena Omodua, Professor Akintoye, with utter sense of disappointment and shock. An old man of 87? This is really very, very unwelcoming. Professor Akintoye is an elder statesman who has paid his dues in ensuring a better society, general well-being of Yoruba land and even Nigeria before he made a tour to Yoruba separationist group as a result of the refusal of the northern establishment to accept restructuring of the country called Nigeria. Inasmuch as the coalition is not linking the federal government to this disastrous act of cowardry, it will be rather unbelievable that the state of what is currently going on, investigations be carried out as to who and who were these people. The government knows who these people are, and so they should bring them to book. The coalition stressed that the only section is agitation across the country can be ripped, nipped in the ball. The only way, excuse me, the coalition stressed that the only way the section is agitation across the nation can be nipped in the ball, but is for the president, Muhammad Buhari's government, to begin the process of putting machineries in motion to either bring back the 1966 constitution, which is which our founding fathers of Nigeria agreed upon, which enable each region of Nigeria to be autonomous in their resources and responsibility to the central, and make sure Nigeria is governed in the way it should go. The federal, the group added that the federal government needs to be told the gospel truth, that silencing Nandi Kanu, Sunday Igboho, or Pa Akindoye, or anyone for that matter, will not end the agitation. You know, Buhari is not aware of that, that that will not end it. In his heart, he has a cheap way of trying to get things done. And that one is to intimidate people. But the truth of the matter, the truth of what he does not know is that you can't silence people. Uh, you, you know, this section is called, this section call, 
is an idea. When people have been oppressed and they are looking for a ray of hope, you know, and uh, their hearts is already all bound up and they are just looking for a ray of hope and somebody comes and say, you know what, we can, yes, we can. We can achieve this together. Let's work together and stands as a leader. Guess what? You've just started a movement. It is no longer one person's talk or saying, I want to know. If you want to sort that problem, you go to the root, go to the leaders, address the issue. If you can succeed with the leaders, having a discussion with them, come to a round table and having that agreement settled, then you're on your way to success. Trying to intimidate, trying to say you want to do this and do that, trust me, is a waste, a complete, a complete waste of your, your time and all that. And guess what? Whether you like it or not, because it's a government for the people, by the people, with the people. You will fight at it, but you will not succeed. It's not just in trying to make a propaganda. That's what it is. It is what it is. So if Muhammad Buhari and those who are sitting around him wants to be very honest and tell him the truth, they should go back to the drawing board and call a spade a spade and tell him that you're not doing well. No, you're not. You've offended the people. The people don't feel confident. Their heart is no longer in this administration and you must know the truth. There is no need trying to, you know, play around the bush and just, you know, make it look like, no, let's be very honest. Things are not working here. Things are not working. So why are we trying to pretend that things are working? It's not. It's not working. Okay? It's not working. And if it's not working, it's not working. The best thing to do is not to profess solution. Not to intimidate the very people you're supposed to be governing. How does that sort out solve the problem? This is where we are at the moment. You see, this is where the real problem is. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Because the truth of the matter is, President Muhammad Buhari is not just Buhari. It's not just Buhari that have the evil heart. Even those that surround him, they are even more terrible than the Buhari, I can assure you. Have you heard Garuba Shehu speak? Have you heard Femi Adesino speak? Or have you heard, what's her name? Uh, what's her name? Loretta? Every one of them. The mindset, you can tell what goes on within that circle. You can tell. You can just tell. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.